Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, It's a Horse Thing. Today I'm going to give you guys a pretty in-depth tutorial on how I personally do dapples on my model horse repaints. I completely understand that this is not an easy technique to master and it does take a lot of time and practice. However, I am going to make this as simple as I can and easy for you guys to understand. Now let's take a look at the materials you're going to need. If you guys have not watched my video, Pastels 101, everything you need to know and the basics on how to use pastels, what you need, and why, I would definitely recommend you check that out. I will link it down below in the description of the video. It is a super in-depth tutorial on what you need to know about pastels, and it will definitely give you a jump start on what you need to know here. However, I am just going to give a slight recap to help you guys out a little bit. First, you're definitely going to need Pam Pastel or some kind of other pastel. Again, I went over all of this in the other video. You can use a different kind of pastel other than Pam Pastel. I just personally recommend it. It is very pigmented, is already um, grinded up for you to use and ready to go whenever you purchase it. So personally, it's just easier and more beginner friendly. However, if you can only get your hands on some chalk pastel kind of sticks, that works fine too. Just make sure you grind it up into powder. Then you're going to want your pastel brushes, which I personally use makeup brushes. I also go over this in the Pastels 101 video if you want to look at that. And then you're also going to need these makeup applicators. Basically, you can just find them on Amazon. You can get a whole bunch of them for a pretty cheap price. They're basically just little sticks that have like fuzzy little ends. Um, kind of like a really mini Q-tip. I would not recommend Q-tips because your dapples are going to be completely out of scale. Trust me, I've tried them before. However, these makeup applicators, like I said, pretty cheap. I use them for all my dapples and they're pretty easy to use. And lastly, please make sure you have gloves. I just have some cheap disposable plastic clear see-through gloves and they work just fine. This is just so your hands, your your fingers have natural oils on them that will mask up the pastel if you happen to touch it, which happens a lot easier than you may think it does. So personally, these gloves will just prevent that from happening and resulting in graininess or your fingerprints or any other disasters that could happen. Now that we know all the materials we need, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Here I am specifically going to be using the Collective Missouri Fox Trotter Mare to make a dapple gray. She is already in a pretty good coat of a light gray because keep in mind your pastels are going to darken and make the coat color seem a lot darker than it is so make sure that the color you want is a lot lighter than what you actually want the end result to be. After I finish the base coat of paint, I'm going to go ahead and give her a really good spray of my matte sealant. Um, the brand I use is Rust Oleum. This is basically just to make the surface a lot smoother so that way when you are putting the pastels on, it's not going to get on into all the little texture cracks and crevices and herring details that it has on the model. That way it doesn't get grainy or anything like that. So once she has dried for at least 30 minutes, I go ahead and start on the dapple process. So I took my makeup applicators that I showed you guys in the beginning. Mine are personally pink. The color does not matter at all. It was just the cheapest color that was there, so I picked them. It doesn't matter. If you want black, if you want blue, if you want pink, if you want purple, whatever. The color does not matter. There is no different function. Just wanted to make that clear. I dipped my little makeup applicator in the pastel. I'm not pressing super hard. It's just like a little dab to get some pastel on there. And then I almost start just drawing circles on the horse. So I kind of did this in a like honeycomb type of pattern. And personally, I like my um, dapples to be on the rear, the back, kind of going down into the midsection a little bit. The shoulders and the neck, I don't like it up in like the hind quarter area, whatever you want to call that or underneath the stomach, or on the face, or anything like that. And definitely not way down on the legs, because for a dapple gray, that area is going to be black. So basically, you're just going to be drawing circles almost all over the horse, and all the places that you want. Just make sure that you are following a reference picture pretty closely, and you're not just drawing circles wherever you think they should go. And after you finish drawing those circles on, do not do anything. Don't add any more pastel. Just with the circles, go ahead, give her a spray, and let her dry. Or him. Now, again, once the model has dried for at least 30 minutes, I do recommend it drying for that long because if you don't give it enough time to dry, if you try and put pastels over it, it's just going to result in a lot of, like, clumps that are way darker than it should be, and it's just, it's, it's a mess. 
Then I went in with my normal makeup brush and I went ahead and started filling out some details. So I try not to put pastel over the dapples because then it's going to look uh, a little faded. However, I did do that in some areas. Like on the back, I wanted that to be a lot darker. So I put some like dark gray on top of that. I did black on the legs, black on the muzzle, black on the eyes, black underneath the stomach. And then I did a little bit of gray on like the shoulders and the rear and the neck but not so much that it completely covered up the dapples that we just did. Go ahead and give your model another spray, let it dry, add more pastel in areas you need to be darker, give it another spray, let it dry, so on and so forth until you reach the desired opacity that you want. If you do need to go back at any given point in time and go back over some of the circles because they did fade out a little bit more than you want them to, that is perfectly fine as well. This is just a time where you want to go ahead and build up the pastel layers that you want because once you move on from pastels it's really really hard to go back and make an area darker or lighter than how you want it after pastels go ahead and finish up all your other little details the mane the tail the hooves the eyes any markings that you want so on and so forth until your model is complete now these are personally what some of my dapples have looked like after I finished them. I hope this tutorial was pretty straightforward for you guys. If you have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comments below and I will answer them best I can. Again, I hope this tutorial was easy to follow and I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe button down below if you have not already. Thank you and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.